You've been uh, remarkably consistent in how often you fight throughout your career. But this seems pretty fast even for you, right? Like 40 days? Come on, man. Come on. I'm wired different, bro. You should know that. We do know that for sure. <laughs> I mean, what's clicking with you right now? Two main events in a row and bonus. I said earlier, it's like a recipe. You know, you throw in the ingredients, you you cook it up, you know, and it's starting to get hot, but it's just a little too soon. You taste it, maybe a little bit too tart. The ingredients haven't really developed yet. You know, they haven't really had time to disperse amongst the whole meal. And I feel like now, 31, 32 years of age, getting to this point in my career, fighting the best of the best, it's an awesome recipe. Kind of like your grandma's, you know? Did, did you find there was like one missing ingredient that you kind of threw in at the end and said, okay, this was it? No, you just got to trust the process, you know, time. Time is, uh, time is beautiful, time is a wonderful thing. You believe in it, you trust the process, you put in the work, and you know, my career's been ups and downs, but you can't, you, can't, uh, you can't measure what I have, my heart, my mind, you can't put that on a scale, and it's, it's second to none. I outwork anybody at this point in my age, I'm doing more than what I was doing at 21, 22 years of age. My punch count's doubled, and uh, I love it. This is a lifestyle. This isn't a camp. This is what I do, man. Uh, I've been begging to get fights like this for a long time. Finally, uh, we get this opportunity. So I'm more and uh, blessed, excited. And to be here in Orlando to do it, uh, it's beautiful here. A little bit better in St. Louis on the weather-wise. So stay on the, same, on the same theme. Do you think the recipe is there, or is it just kind of getting there? It's just right, man. If you sit down, you'll be ready to eat. So uh, you said you know, this fight, you know, it's a big fight. It's this, this kind of fight you wanted. What is it about uh, about Josh that you think has enabled him to get to this level? And what do you think he brings it to? Uh, Josh comes from a great camp. They're uh, they're well prepared. They, you know, those guys know me. I fought their head coach. I fought their teammates. I've trained with them. They've been in the back rooms with me many times. They know what I'm about. They know what I bring to the table. But again, there's things that, that you can't measure that just just unscathed. You know, and you know, I've. I've I've, uh, I think stylistically, Josh is a great matchup for me. He's, uh, he's a competitor. I'm a fighter who can't compete. You know, my hunger's deep. It's deeper than the ocean. I swim in that ocean every day. It's a lifestyle for me, so I'm coming for him. Is it uh, frustrating for you for if everything's coming together right now and this is the right time for you, everything, this is what it is, that the division is kind of chaotic at the top and it's kind of not really settled? I don't worry about the division. What, what can I do? I'm not God, you know. I care less what the division is doing. I'm worried about me doing my best, coming here to please the fans here here at the UFC gym in Orlando. We're here to make the magic uh, happen and slam on them like uh, Shaquille did when he was here. So, you know, none of that crap matters. You know, I'm worried about me, what I can do. I'm happy. I'm uh, blessed. I'm alive, and we all should be thankful. At this point, do you call what's going on with you like a resurgence, a career resurgence? Because you never went anywhere. You were always fighting the best guys, obviously. I don't know what's going on with me, man. My, I'm, <laughs> I'm wired a little bit different, man. I just, uh, I'm enjoying the moment. I'm having fun. I'm getting big opportunities. My pay's going up. My stock's going up. And these hands are going up, ready to fight, bite down my mouthpiece, and we're gonna let them throw down. Does it feel different when you prepare for guys who are up and comers, let's say, versus preparing for a guy like Gilbert Melendez or Max Holloway? Do you go about it any differently at all? No, not a whole lot of change. We're well, we're well rounded, you know. There's a lot that you really haven't seen that I've been working on for so long that some of that stuff's just now starting to kind of conspire in my fights. Like I said, it's a well rounded recipe. I don't train for anybody different. I, I, I work my ass off. I train all areas, you know. I don't think I have a submission in UFC, but don't don't think that I don't have a ground game. You know, good luck getting me to the ground. You know, I, my style is exciting. You know, if I get you on the ground, it's like last time with Choi. I'm not sitting there. I'm not trying to pass guard. I'm not trying to do this. I'm trying to pound your head in the canvas. For one, you get paid more. Two, it's just that's just me. And why would I change that? You know, so at all. Would you say right now you're hitting your prime right now, from an age standpoint? Because you're what, 31, right? Yep. A lot of guys seem to come into their prime right, right about that age. But you've had 25 fights in the UFC, which is crazy, right? So are you are you hitting your prime now, despite all the all the all the fights you've had? I think so, and I hope so, and I hope my prime uh, prime lasts a long time. You know, I feel. I feel really good at this moment. I can't really say what what is my prime, what isn't. I just feel really good. I'm uh, like I said, I'm, I'm blessed, man. I'm, I'm happy to be here. It's uh, a journey of ups and downs. I've, I've never given up. You know, I've never I never given up on my dreams. I never stop learning, growing, and and being motivated to compete. You know, there's a lot of young, hungry kids 
you know, but it goes back to the Charles Darwin theory. It's not the strongest or the smartest person who's going to survive. It's the person who's willing to adapt to change. You know, in order to adapt to change, you got to be smart. You got to, you got to, it's, you, you got to level up, man. You got to, you got to go through them struggles when you're leveling up, you know, and when you want to, when you want to quit, you got to keep, you got to keep going. And it's never crossed my mind to ever stop, give up, you know, quit. You know, it, it just, it, if you know me, I come back. If I, if I take a loss, I'm coming back to, to, to kill you the, ne the next time when I'm coming back in the octagon. I'm, I'm, I'm there to improve and show people those improvements. And, uh, you know, in order to be champion, you have to beat everybody in the division. Everybody's different. So you have to make all types of adjustments and be growing. Which kind of challenge do you think he brings to your play? Uh, just, you know, he's, he's a gamer. You know, he's tough. You know, he's in great cardio. We're, we're, we're well prepared. You know, everybody brings a different type of challenge. I feel like he'll, he'll want to stand a little bit until he gets hit. And then, uh, you know, he's going to resort to what he knows best, which is wrestling, which, you know, a lot of guys do, you know. And, and we got answers for that. We got solutions to the problems. And we accept those types of challenges, and we feel like we match up well. You mentioned the familiarity with the camps. I mean, you guys, you've known them for a long time. They've known you. Does it add anything extra to you to, to want to win the fight and, you know, kind of take another, another one from them? No, not at all. That's, that's never my intention is to go at Team Alpha Male. Like I said, I gave them uh, praise. You know, they're, they're, they're a tough camp. Just like us, you know, we, we train hard. We know what them guys do. You know, we've been in the back with each other. We've traveled the world together. It's nothing personal. It's competing, man. This fighting is what we get paid to do. You know, he, he put himself in a, in a good spot to, to earn this. You know, people were talking about, oh, he missed weight. None of that matters. He took the fight on short notice. You know, a lot of guys don't even want to step up and fight. You know, and they have longer notice than that. So props to him. We know, we know they're a great camp, but uh, we'll be dominant Saturday night. It has been personal at times, though, right? What's that? It's been personal at times with you guys. Not to me. I, I've never had. I've never had anything personal with them. Uh, you know, I've had a little altercation with Cody, but you know that was what it was. Uh, you know, he was cutting weight. He's in the moment. Uh, you know, I put a halt to that. But you know, I, I went. I uh, did a Barrow camp with with Cody. I actually respect the guy. I think he's a great fighter. He kind of reminds me of myself a little bit. You know, I've I've, I've, I've hung out, drink beers with these guys. You know, I I don't have anything personal against them. And uh, just hopefully they come in healthy, ready to go. Let's give them a show. This is what, this is what we do, man. When Michael Bisping retires, you're probably going to have the record for the most UFC fights. Can you just talk about what the, what the journey's been like for you the, all these years? Uh, the journey's been fun. You know, I've grown up uh, inside the Octagon and with this company to see it grow and see, see where it's come. It's, uh, it's truly amazing. You know, I was saying earlier as well in an interview, we truly are fighting the best in the world. Before people would say that, and it was like local people like in the U.S., you know, I just fought a Korean guy, you know, uh, Brazilian, you know, this, this is people from all over the world. And this, that's truly amazing if you look at it. No, no, uh, no athletes on this type of scale are, are doing that, you know, maybe soccer a little bit, but not like this. You know, we have a great team behind us and as probably everybody else does, but we go in there and we perform individually, kind of like NASCAR or something like that. And it, it's crazy to see, see what this uh, company's done. You know, pay is going up a little bit. You know, you're getting so uh, such crazy uh, diverse fighters, athletes from all over the world. So this is a sport that you can look at so many different angles and have a have an opinion on it. I'm just I'm just glad to be a part of it. Like I said, man, I love fighting. It's my passion. I'll, I'll, I'll do this until I'm 90 if I'm still healthy and rocking and rolling. So I'm enjoying it. What do you think of right before you move to the Let's go. Let's do this. You know, like bring it on. This is this is what. Uh, from as a kid to, to be walking out and, and under lights and people chant my name, cheering for me or, or booing or whatever it is, you know, like Tupac, man, all eyes are on me.